Hey guys, so today we're going to be drop shipping from Amazon to eBay. I'm going to show you a method where you can find items to sell and find other drop shippers so you can sell their best selling items. So let's go over to eBay and dive in. So here we are on eBay.com. I'm doing this on eBay.com today instead of eBay.co.uk just to show you that it doesn't matter which eBay you're on, the method works regardless. So we're going to go over to ebay.com as well. What we're going to do is type in a keyword. Now we're typing in a keyword just to find items to see if they are already selling on eBay. So let's think of a keyword. Let's put tins. So let that load up. Again, this method, we do this to find other dropshippers so we can go through their best selling items and then sell them ourselves. So let's have a quick look through this. Tins. Maybe not tins. Let's put in office. So let's scroll down. Now I'm not doing this to find items to sell straight away. I'm doing this to find other dropshippers. Then what I will do is go through that dropshippers best selling items and see if they're items that I would like to list myself. So scroll down. Bestseller, let's try this. Now you can go to page two, page three, page four. You can put in any keyword, it does not matter. So what we're going to do is copy this, go over to eBay and put it in the search bar. So now press enter, have a little bit of my drink. Why did that come up? <laughs> Hold on. Let's copy this again. Come on. Copy. Oh, it's taking forever. Paste. There we go, that's better. Now press enter. See what it pulls up. So, how much was it on Amazon? $18.87. So let's have a little look. 25, let's have a look at this. Now we know this is more likely a dropshipper because all they've done is taken the title from over on Amazon without optimizing the title at all. Now what we do or what I do is snoptimization. So if you know what sniping and optimizing is, it's a combination of both. So what I would do is sold one. But what I would do is go over to this seller's items. I do prefer higher feedback normally, but let's take a look regardless of that. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah, so what I would do is find, go to like a seller like this, we know that we know are a dropshipper. Go to their sold or completed listings. We'll go to their completed listings. Then I'd take a little look. But what I would do, say if I wanted to sell this, let's take a look at it. See if they've sold any first. How many they've sold. Okay, brilliant. They've sold nine. So what I would do, I wouldn't snipe them. So I wouldn't take this whole listing, the title, everything, and then undercut the price. <coughs> what I would do personally. We know that they've sold nine of these. When did they sell them? Quite a few in March and February, so we know this is a good selling item. So now what I would do, I would put this put this item into a spreadsheet, build out a spreadsheet full of items that I want to list on eBay. So it makes it a hell of a lot quicker when I go to list. But what I would essentially do is completely change this title. Photonic black electric motorized rotating turntable display stand well what I would do I'll try and optimize this title better than this seller 
and then I'd make more sales that way. Now, if you want to understand optimization, you can click right up here in the right hand corner and go through and watch a video or my video about optimization. But let's see where they're sourcing this from. It looks like it could be from Amazon. So we're going to go down to their description. I'll take the specifications. Well, I'll do it. I'll take this. Right click and search in Google. Now, by doing that, that normally brings up the, the, the reta retailer that they are currently using for this product. That's a white. I want this black one. Is this the product? Yes, thirty-six ninety-nine. How much is he selling it for? Forty-seven and six cents. Have they just completely taken the title? Pretty much. So what I would do, I would also take this Stella's. Stellas, take this seller's store name and put that in a spreadsheet and build out a seller's list. This way, every time we want to, this way, we keep building out the seller's list. So we've got over 100, 200, 300, 400 sellers in that list. Then every time we want to find products, we go to our sellers list, look at their best selling items and see if we want to sell them ourselves. Now me personally, if I was to sell this, like I said, I'd completely optimize this title and I would put 40% on the price over here. So I'd put 40% on top of this $36.99 and then that's what I would sell it for. Now that 40% factors in my eBay fees, my PayPal fees and my profit. So that's what I would do. But that's how quick we can find items. Now that didn't take long at all to identify another dropshipper and to find products that we could potentially sell ourselves. That only took a few minutes. But now that we've identified a dropshipper, like I said, I would like this feedback higher than that, but it's okay. As you can see, he sold nine of these items, so we know this is a good selling item. With this dropshipper, like I said, now what I would do, I'd take that store name, go and put it in a spreadsheet and build out a seller's list. And now, this is the boring part, I would go through each of these items, see where he's sourcing it from, see how many they've sold, and see if I wanted to sell them myself. Then every time I found a product, like this one, I would then find it at the retailer, put that into a spreadsheet, and also build out my items list. So that means when you go to list an item on eBay you're not doing it one by one so I found this I'm not going to list it now because that would take far too much time so like I said build out that item list and then say you've got 20 items in that list you can just go to your list and list them on eBay that was a lot of lists but it just makes the process a hell of a lot quicker if you know what I mean. Now I think I'm going to keep that video there. It was just a nice short simple video explaining how you can find items to sell and how to find other dropshippers to find their best selling items. Now if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also don't forget to go and hit, don't forget to go and hit subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit and I'll see you again soon.